Okay. Hello, everyone who's here. I seem quiet. Uh, I don't know why my mic suddenly sounds. Looks like it's quiet, doesn't it? Uh, okay. I guess it doesn't matter. Let me see if I can tweak that real quick. Just just a bit. Just a bit. Sure. Well, hopefully that'll be enough. Hard to say. I don't want the game to be too quiet, and I don't want it to be too loud. Either way, doesn't matter. Wasting time. We gotta run up with these jokers for a while. You know, I gotta love a place where the whole soundtrack is just wind. <laughs> uh... Okay, we're already set up for that. I forget what they do. They do something that's annoying. Oh good, I'm glad the audio seems okay. I seem to just really only attack. Which means Skull Shield would be a good thing to put up. And let's try Pyrum. Winds to get rid of their speed, and then Enrique can just attack. Pirate 
Knights of old, defend our cause! Oh, that's right, they heal each other. That's annoying. than I remember. Like a, on her magic. Oh. Uh, somebody was about to get purple magic. Who was that? Oh, it's Fina. Oh, it would just be Panica. Doesn't really matter. Well, you're making me walk into the areas where I gotta fight. I don't like it. Don't dodge it. Okay. Stop it.
to go and do that. Shouldn't have done that to her. She's just a boy. Okay, yeah, we're all on the same page as them. That's all that matters. Just gonna keep casting heals. Because she has a special move that recharges her magic. Or free. I 
I could have sworn there was a moonfish on the way up here, but I guess it doesn't matter. I believe Zhao and Mao are here. Yep. Westerners. It appears that we meet again. Oh, not them again. What are you doing here? This is the headquarters of the Tanku. It was very foolish for you to come here. The time has come for you to die. For us to finish you. That's not what you said. Oh. <laughs> Zhao Mao, who's there? Lord Dai uh, Lord Daigo. These are the Westerners that would dare to defy us. They came through the Dark Rift. I'm Vice of the Blue Rogues. You're the leader of the Tenku? Oh boy. Daigo. <gasps> what? He's your brother? Huh? This is Prince Daigo? Magoi! No, wait, sorry. <laughs> Magoi, how you been? I would have never thought that you would bring foreigners to my temple. I would have never thought I would either. But, wait, wait, hold on. I never thought I would either. But what are the Tenku doing here? Wait, sorry, that's Magoi. I never thought I would either. But what are the Tenku doing here? A long time ago. Hold on, I gotta adjust this voice. A long time ago, the twins challenged me to a fight. They wanted my sword, so I beat them senseless. And for some strange reason, they pledged their loyalty to me. It's I've been their leader ever since. And I figured that their leader, or as their leader, I could control them a little. So they'd stop attacking everyone. <laughs> Besides, who else do you know that has a twin body that has twin bodyguards? Ah Nagoe, is this really your brother? It's hard to imagine the two of you are related. Nope, that was Fina's voice. I know he's a prince, like Enrique. I know he's a prince like Enrique, but it seems like princes in Yafutoma act differently than princes in Valua. Yeah, but what's the purpose of your visit, Nagoe? His father changed his mind. Daigo, he... What's wrong? Did something happen to him? Kangen, that little runt. How could he backstab our father in the hands of... and hand our country over to the Valians? Daigo... Mikai, I'm sorry if I was, if I was still Aries would have never happened. When I was exiled, I was well, I welcomed the freedom. I discarded all of my duties and did whatever I wanted here in this temple. But now my people need me and I must go back there and reclaim my title as Prince of Yafutoma. Vice, I can't thank you enough for saving my sister. Now I must get ready for battle. And I will fight against the value against value and give Yafutoma back to the people. I'd be honored if you'd fight alongside me. Uh huh. Of course, we'll help you. Or of course, we'll help. We share the same enemy. Excellent. We'll fight together and reclaim Yafutoma in the Megasphere. Also, Lord Enrique heard you defended my sister from Miraji. My family thanks you for your bravery. I did only what was expected of a gentleman. Think nothing of it. And Prince Daigo... I have a trouble with that one. Prince Daigo, I know how you feel. I too have been exiled from my lands. I mean, mine was by choice and there's really no bad blood, but whatever. I wish to change the views of my country by changing the world around it. That's why I wish to aid you from one exiled prince to another. Also, the fleet that you are about to face, the Armada, was sent here by my mother, Empress Theodora. 
You know how a prince works, right? Okay. As a valuing prince, it's my duty to stop them. It's not only your battle, it's mine as well. I understand. I'll gladly accept your aid. Prince Enrique, you're a very noble man. Much more noble than I. If such a man such ugh, if a man such as yourself were to be in my sister's side, I'd sleep well at night. <laughs> but I know you'd sleep better, you know what I'm saying? Um uh Well he said it for me. Daigo, no. Daigo, come on now. Hey, oh. <laughs> and from a looks at you do it mine either. Yeah, you know, a little bit of this. <laughs> hey. Now that advice, I need to prepare for the battle. Meet me at the port. We will depart for Yalfa Thoma as soon as you're ready. Oh, hey, Deft. I'll give this kingdom back to its people by becoming its monarch and upholding authoritarianism. That's what they want, though. Like, if you walked in and killed the king, they're like, you're free. They're like, we don't know what to do. <laughs> this is our headquarters. Where our, this is our headquarters, where our leader, Lord Daigo, resides. When prepared, ah, oh, right, that's right, the Tenku are all southern. This is our, I can't do a deep southern for some reason, hold on. Uh, this is our headquarters, where our leader, Lord Daigo, resides. Nope, that's still Wisconsin, whatever. When preparing for battles, Lord Daigo gathers all the Tenku here. Just a little while ago, Lord Dago issued an order from the Tenku to assemble. He smells like a war. Audi. Good golly gosh, these sides are heavy. Heh <laughs> a battle. They haven't had a decent fight in a long time, you know. Never mind, I don't know what they're thinking, or. They learn not to underestimate Chunk, you know? Old Officer Chunk. Okay. When the Tin Q are assembled, when the Tin Q the citizens of Yafutoma, we the Tin Q are citizens of Yafutoma. No matter how long you live away from it, you never forget the love for your country. So we consider Kangan's treason to be very serious for a very serious matter. I know we are not even from Yafutoma, but please, we need your help. I already so whatever. People begging me for something I already agreed to do. Gotta board the space tit again. to do battle against the Armada. Ain't nothing else to do. Hey, you can't expect to... F hey, you can't expect to fight in that ship. Come right with me on my ship. Looks like a dragon, you know. All ships prepare for battle. We must take back Yafatoma. Did your men board the ships somehow way below the clouds for that dramatic entrance? Our scouts have reported the Armada and Yalfa Thoman fleet, uh, and the, the Armada and Yalfa Thoman fleet are patrolling the Kazai Lake. Vice, your ship is also patrolling with the Armada. Now it's personal. But it wasn't before. Ha! I understand your frustration. If we get back to your ship, we can win this battle. 
Dinku will attack your armada from the front and keep him distracted. While they're keeping your armada busy, I want you to get the Delphinus back. Without the Delphinus, we don't stand a chance. Now, why the hell do you know about the Delphinus? <laughs> Sounds like a plan. They spent most of their time traveling from traumatic entrances, but not so much time actually training to fight. That would be a fun side plot for a char <laughs> character. All right, men, get ready. Let's show them what the Tenku can do. Friends want some action. Things just got a little bit more interesting. I'm coming for you, Red. Soon you'll all be mine. You know, he has the key around his neck, and I noticed, you know, his his cod piece has a key, and it makes me wonder if that's the lock. That's the key to that lock. <laughs> this western ship is nice, very nice. I think I'm gonna enjoy these. But I never dreamed I would be able to kill Prince Daigo so soon. Now my Goya would be mine for sure, as well as the throne. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, handsome. I didn't want to have to fight you. But for Valua and Lord Gothian, I must. Tenku ship straight ahead. They're in range of our Tenku. No, sorry, Tenku ship straight ahead. They're in range of our cannons. All right, everyone, listen up. This is it. If we win this battle, we will rule the East. Go. Let them feel the power of the Valiant Armada. Far it will. Goro's compensating for something. So far, so good. The battle is e the battle is even. We're more maneuverable, but we can't seem to break their line. Vice, keep an eye out for your ship. It's got to be around here somewhere. Uh huh. All right, everyone, be ready for action. We'll find the Delphin. Uh, when we find the Delphinus, let's take it back, air pirate style. How fares the battle? My lord, the Tinku are swimming all or swarming all around the Valuans, but the Armada is holding their position. We seem to be at a stalemate. <laughs> I see. Very well. It is time for us to join the battle, and in this once and for all. Oh no, our wooden ship's only weakness fire. <laughs> Wait, hmm. We can't seem to break we can't break their line. Our ships are taking serious damage. When I said we were even before, yeah, that was when, you know, we hadn't started shooting yet. I just kind of assumed. I don't think we can take much more of this. I'm gonna have to get a signal get the signal to retreat. Today, Valia has won. Arr. My lord. <laughs> Hold on. My lord, the ship fit in the description the captain of Captain Vice's ship is heading our way. What? Are you sure? Yes, my lord. I'm positive it's the Delphinus. Daigo, if you can get us close to the Delphinus, we can take it back. Uh, we can take it back and win this thing. We're air pirates, remember? We do this stuff all the time. All you have to do is get us close. I see. <laughs> I see. I see. Okay, Vice, you got it. Look at that, that cheese-eating grin. We're gonna have to jump to the deck. Huh? It's okay. I got you, Fee. Uh-huh. Hey All right. I'll be right behind you. Let's try this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the 
The prince done broke his spine. <laughs> I guess they were expecting us. Let's throw these goons off our ship. Think about it. It's funny you say that, Daft, about the only weakness fire, because they're all elemental blue, and fire is their weakness. Sure, maneuvering accounts for a lot of skyship battles, but at a certain point, having largely wooden vessels getting shot by cannons is not going to end well. No, it doesn't, especially as, uh, <laughs> especially when you know your people get peppered with shrapnel from their own ship. the one who's in counter stance, aren't we? Nope, okay, that's fine. Barbam's gonna. Barbam is gonna have a uh, really hard time fixing this shit. No, that's yeah, Barbam. He's the engineer. Oh, I need to switch to. Hold on. Uh, blue and silver. Here go. 
These are Belize's men. Mirachi, we'll be taking our ship. We'll be taking back our ship now. Uh, do you think I'm afraid of you? Uh, you aren't so tough. Why are you fools standing there? Get him! You betray those that trust you. You needlessly endanger the lives of innocent people. All of your personal, for all for personal gain. For the honor of Princess Mago, I, uh, I, I stroke there for a second. For the honor of Princess Magoe, and for the people of uh, Yafatoma, I will strike you down. Face my blade, coward. Why are we already in the bad... Now, let's give this one to Enrique. He seems to want it more. We got red or that again. So. needs to do Delta Shield every turn. Oh, he's susceptible to sleep, is he? Just in case he wakes up. Oh, 
how's everybody today? Let's try this. Tomorrow we're watching uh, Oni Chan Bara. Uh, everything's all right on this end. Nothing, nothing too spectacular, but nothing bad either. So, I'd say it's an all-around good time. Tomorrow, I'm finally gonna have. I'm gonna have to mentally prepare myself. Yeah, I mean, you know, you don't have to be there. If nobody has to be there but me. I've seen it already, so I'm not. I'm not too worried about it. Sure, I don't have to be there, but it's much it's so much fun. It's one of the highlights on the way. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Mine too, actually. Face my blade. Look at him sword fighting like such a dandy. So it really was just naturally in the bad state. turn into stone now. Yeah. I haven't tried that in a while. I'll have to try it again later. Oh, <laughs> 
I wonder what it is that makes Cupid get a critical hit. Oh, you dick. Well, damn, every one of my weapons can put people to sleep. There we go. Now I got three ship, or two ship bat, maybe three in a row. Got Mountain Dew. Um, I, no, no, I, no, um, heal. Uh, I gave you back your ship. Just spare my life. Please let me leave. You're too pitiful to me to run you through. I'll spare you, but you'll pay for all your treachery. Oh, right, we got the Delphinus back. Now let's even the odds. There's a ship coming in from the starboard side. It's coming in fast. There's something about it that disgusts me. That ship is the Draco. <clears throat> that ship. It's the Draco. It's Vigoro's ship. Oh, you're trying to... What talk about trying to compensate? I forgot she says that. This guy's got a complex. The Armada is being led by Belize and Vigoro. If we can take out their ships, the rest of them will fall. I, that's not how that works. Our next target... Our next target, the Draco. I think my throat's getting really dry. I'm starting to slip up. My cannon's bigger than yours. <laughs> now feel the destructive power of my ship, Draco. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. Good to know. You do get to hear Vigoro talk more in this, so you can kind of hear what his voice actually is supposed to sound like. Bring it on! Take this! And yes, I am looking directly at it, and then suddenly get shot to the side. <laughs> That one engineer we fired and then executed a long time ago. A long time ago has warned us that locking all of the fleet weapons to the flagship is a bad idea. Oh, I see what you're saying. I think the idea, though, is that it's um, the Draco has one of the cannons from the uh, from the value in wall, just on it. Now this is more like it. A face-to-face -face confrontation. This is how rural men should fight. You got it, buddy.
Huh. Okay. I know the Delphius is powerful, but damn, that thing's strong. But that will make my victory all the sweeter. I will prove I'm the strongest man in the world with this big fuck-off gun. and just imagining like a shell that size just landing on some island below it. Or I guess it's a casing, not a shell. I don't know, are those the same things? I'm not good with gun lingo. Casing at that point, it really doesn't matter when it blew up your farm and hit and half your island it was on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> good point. Well, now that'd be an interesting NPC or an adventure, uh, an adventure for an RPG. What? Someone who's like, their motivation is that their farm was destroyed by some uh, casing that fell off a big ship. Gear grease. Or spirit, huh? who are fighting each other and collateral, collateral damage. That isn't a bad idea. You are right about that. Just their motivation is like, you guys were fighting and we got caught in the middle. I don't think it's inherently like unique, but I can't think of too big of a story about it. Wait, in the background, is that just a wall? Yeah, it's the Great Wall of Yafutoma. Because they're Japanese and Chinese. I think the idea is that Yafutomans, the original people, weren't able to go higher and lower than the clouds. So that wall actually was effective. But the Tenku uh, discovered the ability to go higher and lower. So it kind of made the wall pointless. That's why it's in shambles at parts. Uh, I really 
should heal. I'll have my uh, increased damage, but it, I don't think it'll matter. This might hurt, actually. Really hoping I was gonna go first. Yep. Damn, I lost to Vigoro. That sucks. Okay, let's try that one again. This time I actually will be more prepared. Hey, Vice Cam's bring you high. try to buff as much as I can and use as much attacks in one shot as I can to try to make this uh, quicker. I was going to save this for the fight that comes after because I'm not sure if it, re if it uh, completely refills, but we will see. The ship is like I uh, I don't like to admit it, but the ship is pretty strong. Moonstone cannon, fire! I'm fighting quite the Giga Chad. Big gun. I have yet to meet one who can outsmart bullets. When did I get Pyrulean? And what advice get it? Oh, 
Please don't kill me. Increases my defense too, so maybe. Mmm, that's close. I don't know <laughs> if I'm gonna survive that second shot. Don't kill me. Okay, he didn't shoot for some reason. There we go. Arala, you're very good at what you do. Or no, that was uh, Kerala. There's no way he's surviving this. None of you's gonna survive this. There we go. I keep forgetting to check. Do I have captain stripes that I haven't been using? I do like the fact that it has a little aiming. Uh, I don't believe it. Well, let's find my Vagoro cannon. Please. Uh. I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Hansel. Not even Gorp Victoria could stop you. As an Adoro in the Valley and Armada, I shall defeat you. Oh, fuck. What? What was that? Ah, Vice, look! It's the Enchantress. Next group of people you meet should do make them Scottish. Oh god. I could try. I don't think I meet anyone new for a long time, though, Nico. Actually, maybe, because the next new people I can think of would be the, uh, the Sylvites. <laughs> Soon I should be rid of both the Westerners and the Tenku. <laughs> blow him, blow him out of the sky! Don't you know? that the king was talking about. The winds are too strong. The ship is losing control. We can't hold formation. Well, if this keeps up, all of our ships will be destroyed. I don't want to do this, but we have no choice. All ships will trade. It's Blueheim. We might be able to take him on with the Delphinus. I really hope so. It doesn't look like we have much of a choice. All right, everyone, let's go. It's up to us.
Blue Heim is the Blue Gigas. It will most likely take... It will most likely attack us with winds and wave attacks. Well, we don't have much time to think of a plan at this point. So we'll just have to look for our weaknesses as we fight it. We have to take him out just once. I, <laughs> one vice go. You know, nah. He does. He has. Uh, when, um... When, uh... Ramirez, they were like, was like, hey, come fight me, brah. And they were like, mm, no, we're not going to do that. I mean, I could have fought him. I had the option to, but the correct answer was to say no. Uh... University of Phoenix Ray. Sapphire weapon. Truth be told, I feel like Vigoro could have had a chance. I can't believe how fast that thing is. I've never thought something so big could move so fast. If you say so. Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. They call me Blue Lightning. Please stop trying to get people to call you that. <laughs> Did you ever know anybody like that who would make up nicknames and demand people call them that? I remember a couple kids like that. Understand the point of teleporting it through the sky. Unless it's supposed to be like lightning coming back down, I, I really can't tell. Because there's another move called blue lightning and it's a bunch of smoke, so who knows? Can't say I knew anyone like that, but I didn't know many people. Oh, 
I can use it here? Hmm. next turn maybe unless he was gonna use it this turn and it should have blocked I feel like maybe maybe the red is the attack that comes after blue wins now that I think about it have it caught you on it forever hey lollipops yeah, I mean, I've been on uh, at least every Monday at 7, same time, but good to see you back. I get it. Stuff, can, life can happen and whatnot. Uh, I didn't think our times have been, I think our times have not been aligned very well. That's fair. Some motherfucking chai tea that I made properly for once. Nice. I don't think I've ever had chai tea. Yep, damn it, I was right. This. Mm. He does it before the red. The red turn. Ah, oh, that's bad. It didn't occur to me to actually. <laughs> spices. Yeah. No, it's. It's. It's not bad, the attack. It's the fact that it, what an incredible blast of wind. It's blown us completely off course. Watch out. Blueheim's preparing its next attack. That must be its strategy. Using that burst of wind to push the energy into position for its next attack. Unless we do something to, uh, unless we do something to conquer that wind attack, we'll be helpless against that thing. We need to try and think of a plan. I think I just have to guard the turn before, but... Now I, I remember. Now that I know that when it's red, it's the turn before that does that. So I can do that now. But instead, I'm gonna do this. Well, I guess I'm not gonna do anything else this turn. Don't you just love it when, like, a package has, like, been inside your house for, uh, like, a good couple hours, and then finally you get a notification. It's like, oh, this was delivered. Makes me wonder, like, why now? Why was it just now reported? and then they're facing wind <laughs> oh no I'm talking about like I have it it's just like it makes me wonder like why all of a sudden I got told that it finally showed up like it's yeah I know it's it's been open chances are I've used it by now
it's an interesting battle mechanic. Uh, have you not... You haven't seen any of this guy's streams yet? Is this your first viewing? I don't know how the mail interacts with networks. No. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, those are the ship battles. Versus the ground battle. I, I really, really enjoy the way they do this. There's a lot of uh, a lot of things that people would call annoying, but I enjoy the way this is set up quite a bit. Oh, damn it! Hit my mic. You need patience, yeah. This particular ship battle is a long one because there's a lot of animations of Blue High like swinging around and flying. Most of the time it's just in their ship and all you gotta do is watch it shoot its cannon. Curious how this one's gonna this round is gonna turn out. Probably not as much damage as I want. I know that. Well, I don't know. That was just a sub cannon. Massive amounts of damage ranging into the ten thousands. Only like one fifth, fifteenth of the bar drops. Yeah. Oh dang it! I should have made a joke about Phoenix Ray being uh, writes much of brother. Damn it! You should have. That's a good joke. I was hoping that would happen. Forty-three thousand damage, wow. You know the captain's stripe, good. I can't believe it. The Air Pirates defeated Blueheim. I need to get out of here. Eh. Kangan, you cannot escape. Surrender or die. Eh, I surrender. Doesn't sound much more like the guy in Mulan or that raises. Hence the reason everyone in Yafutoma is from Wisconsin. <laughs> Except for two members of the Tengu, because I messed them up and now they're southern. Brave adventures from the west. Thank you for saving Yafutoma. But it was my country that caused all of this. I'm terribly sorry for the trouble my uh, the trouble caused by the Valuans. I don't know how I can make it up to you. Prince Enrique, please raise your head. Daigo has explained everything to me. You feel responsible because you're a print Valuan prince, but it's not your fault. Thank you for understanding, but we have only won a battle. Won the battle. As we speak, Armada, the Armada is regrouping. Until Valua sets itself back down the path of righteousness, I will not. Co I will continue to fight them. I see. No, I see. Very well then. 
I will pray for your well-being. And perhaps the magosphere will aid you in your fight. Please take it with you. Ooh. Really? Are you sure it's okay? Did you say that it was necessary to appointing a successor to the throne? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Even with a symbol, even without a symbol such as uh, I have such an accomplished successor already. I've always decided to return to my fat. I've also decided to return to my father and accept the responsibility for defending my people. <laughs> the old man laugh is on point, I guess. I thank you. That's great. Hey, what happened to Kangan and Miraji? What will happen to Kangan and Miraji? Well, they were exiled at Tenko Island. We figure if they spent some time in exile, they might realize what they had done and become better people, or to kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> I like that plan. It serves them right. That reminds me, I noticed that your ship isn't capable of going great heights. Whoops. Here, take this with you. This is from my people. It contains all the knowledge necessary to enable your ship to fly higher and lower than you ever imagined. Wow, thank you. I'll make sure we put it to good use. Potter, I have something to ask you. I, please let me go with these people. What? If what they say is true, then there are matters of great importance occurring to the uh, occurring in the West. You and Daigo both said, well, you and Daigo both said you will stay here to protect our country. And I am helping defend our country by helping these people on their quest. Eh. <sighs> Well said, wait, that's Enrique's voice. Well said, McGoy, you, you, I'm proud of you. Ugh. Well said, McGoy, I'm proud to have you as a sister. Prince Enrique, I spoke, uh, Prince Enrique, I speak to you not as a fellow prince, but as a brother concerning his sister's well-being. Please take care of her. Hmm. You have my word. I will defend her with my life. Look at that cat smile. Princess, please let us join forces and return peace to this world. Yes, Prince Enrique, I entrust you with my life. Very well, then. It appears you do not have much choice in this matter anyway. Enrique, you're getting so much more reliable by the... You're getting much more reliable by the minute. <laughs> you seem like a different person. Just until recently, all I ever saw of you was the back of your head leading over the railing of the ship. Aika, do you have to constantly remind me of that? <laughs> <laughs> She's right, Enrique. Yes. All right, let's go home. All right. Uh, now I can look at chat. I'll pray for your success and call off those people we hired to kidnap you and sell you for ransom, like pirates would. Yeah, daft. Listen, they're good pirates. They're the Robin Hoods of the sea. Just don't worry about it. Let me give you a very old technology to skip generations airship mod. <laughs> uh, essentially, what they just said is about the whole the book of polarity and everything is, hey, do you find um, the random battles when you're just sailing around super annoying? Well, why don't you sail through areas that are too high or low pressure for creatures to exist? So once I come back from getting the purple crystal, my ship can now go uh, above and below the clouds, and when I travel there, there's no creatures, so there's no ship battles. Or there's no random encounters. One of the better perks in the whole game. Not fast travel. It's regular travel, just without uh, faster travel, I guess. Yeah. I don't 
think I need to do anything in Yafatoma since I got all my crew members already. It's great that we got the blue moon crystal and all, but where are we going to go from here? Perhaps we should return to Crescent Island and study the book, of, uh, book on ship polarity in order to modify the Delphines. Go home, but that's to the west of here. How are we supposed to get back? Maybe we can try to go east from here. Wait a second, you'll be getting further away from Crescent Island. Okay, so here's the thing. It's never been clear on where they are in, like, the, the range of technology. But... Here's what we're about to learn where they are. <laughs> um, didn't Beliza say that she came here by going west from Ixitaka? If that's true, then if we go east from here, we should be able to reach Ixitaka. What? You mean that the east and west of the world are connected? I seem to oh, I seem to recall hearing legends about the world being round. According to geological studies of Valua, the world is a sphere, and that means the east and west is connect or the east is connected to the west, and the north is connected to the south. Of course, no one's ever proven this, and those that believe this to be true are branded as heretics. That's interesting. But well, it looks like we're going to see if Beliza was telling the truth or not. We came to Yafatomo by, uh, from Crescent Island by heading east. We'll continue sailing to the east. And if we reach Crescent Island, then we'll prove that the world is round. Yay! Wow, you mean we're actually going to try to sail around the world? All right, everyone, prepare for departure. We're going east. Destination, Crescent Island. <laughs> uh. Oh, this game. 2002. If only you knew around the world. I guess without having a solid ground to uh, conduct experiments on, it might make sense to, they wouldn't know the world is a globe. Yeah, well, it's also, we're currently in the age of uh, them developing ships that can go through the rifts, and the rifts are kind of like all along the connections, so no one could truly sail around the world because there's been something blocking them up until now. I see. Huh. God, I think I'm gonna have to talk to Brad on, like before I end the stream tonight, my head is already hurt just thinking about having to do that voice. What are the weapons made out of? They're made out of, um, uh, crystal. And, uh, their colors are changed by diff by inserting different, uh, moon crystals. And it changes their elemental alignment, which gives them, uh, strengths over the others. Like if you look at the border, that the uh, of the uh, monsters, you can see what element they are. Huh. Except for Cupel. Cupel's like living quicksilver. Someone should be green, why not? Um, so Ixit... I believe that... Yeah, I, th I think I gotta go south, because I'm pretty sure the hole they blew in the wall is like right by Moonstone Mountain. So I'm going the wrong way. Wait, nope. I gotta get to this menu. How many Captain Stripes do I have? 
Just two. Okay. I haven't been neglecting them. There you are. Good, you weren't that far away. This is new ship cat. Uh, but just beats the rats to death. I'm sorry? Oh, you mean cupel. Right. <laughs> hey, f uh, furred burf. Furred burful? Burful? 23? <laughs> That's a fun name. Nah, you can't run. Another rare Sky Streamer. Uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. How'd you find me? I'm curious. I saw people were watching the skies, so here I am. Awesome! Thank you. Well, if you want to follow, I do it every Monday. <laughs> I'd appreciate it, Miss Katie. Oh, thank you. Good to know. Yeah, I just got a, a, a random increase of followers um, last Friday because someone did the same thing because I was streaming uh, Vampire the Masquerade. Get about 15% off there, Squirrely Dan. Hey. <laughs> hey, Rage. How you doing? How you been? Ooh, not so bad. Right. Sm uh, I'm supposed to switch somebody to green. I'm gonna stream this too, just not uh, right now, obviously. Oh, cool! I think we might be the only oh two. Uh, not too many people. Yeah. I don't. Every time I set it up, I always see that I'm the only one doing it. So we. I don't think we've ever happened to be on at the same time. Fun. I'll have to follow you back. Hold on. Let's see if I can do that from OBS. Can I? Oh. Y yes, I think. How do I do that? From OBS. Oh, well, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I've, I've, I've made quite a, quite a mistake. There we go. Now I'm following you. I can't kill it, so I'll just hit it with the equivalent of a flamethrower. Exactly. Delta, sh Delta Storm's gotta be good for something. Right, uh, I'll have to look... I'll have to uh, keep an eye on... Uh, I'll have to do that after this. Um, yeah, no problem. Thanks for following me. Yeah, anybody who even knows about this game, I'm automatically like, you guys want to be friends? <laughs> I gotta stop off in Horteca and get some crewmates. Gotta support the small size community. Oh god, it's a powerful community though. I just saw uh, you, you, any Skies fan. Actually, it's it's the same for a lot of games. But I know that uh, 
did one of them die or something? Who? The crewmate? No. Uh, I can, um, now that I have my own ship, every major port and some not major have at least two crew members in it uh, that you can pick up for later. Or you can pick up and add to your ship and each crew member, like, I'll show you here. Each crew member adds a perk to the ship. Orteca is best music, proof me wrong. Um, I do like Horteca a lot, but I'm trying to think if there's another place I like more. I can't think of one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree. I do like Hortec is a lot. Um, but I just saw somebody on, uh, cause I've, you know, of course followed the sky's tag on uh, Twitter. And I saw someone just talk about how they, uh, they just finished it. And my comment I wanted to send back to them is like, and welcome to the, and welcome to the world of hoping for another and knowing there won't be one. Oh, I don't remember TikTok's voice. Uh, <laughs> you have a nice ship. Have you flown around here a lot? You know this area well. Have you seen a ship with all the women sailors around here? Sometimes I see them flying nearby. They are very different than the women here. Even with my eyes, I cannot always see where they go. I am curious about them. Women only. Maybe we're talking about the village of Ixanes? Yes, that is it. So I must really, uh, so there must really be the village of only women. I've been searching for it for many years. Thank you. You're the best sailor I know. Take me with you on your ship. I want to travel with you. Really? You'll join my crew, the crew of my ship? That's right. I'll join your crew. I have been looking for someone who can make good use of my incredible lies. He's becoming slightly Spanish every time. Why not? With my eyes, I can see, I don't know a Spanish accent, what am I doing? I can see the enemy from far away. Other things too, as clear as day. This will be useful to you. I stream this, I stream this my phone though. It's pretty, yeah, it's a little too much Spanish. I can't help it. How do you, how do you stream this on your phone? On your phone? You get an emulate? Okay. I... You know what? I don't doubt it. It... I had no idea that emulators had gotten that good on phones, but... Why not? I, I, I guess I never tried. I mean, I'm emulating it too. It's fine. I, I'm okay with it because I own it. I just don't own a capture card that I can run um, uh, uh, AV cords to. It's like, I'd love to be streaming it from the actual... I'd love to be streaming it from the Dreamcast, but... Ugh. I, I don't have my copy anymore, so I only got the GameCube one. And I'm holding on to that for dear life ever since I lost the other one. Uh, right. Never mind, I shouldn't have climbed this. Oh, eh. I usually do the Metal Gear Solid 3 thing when I climb ladders, but I forgot. I don't think anyone missed it. <laughs> I used to have it when someone stole it. I... <laughs> I gave away my Dreamcast to a friend who... Uh, he... His game system got... I forget what happened to it, but it's something... I don't think it was, like, destroyed in a fire, but it was something like... No, a flood! He had it in his... He uh, had a little den in his basement, and his basement flooded in a bad, like, storm we had here. 
and it got drowned. So I gave him my Dreamcast because I just got a new console and I was like, well, I don't need this. And I happened to give him Skies of Arcadia, but he was just going to hold on to it. Uh, but apparently that damage was bad enough that they moved and I forgot he had it. So... Oh, you don't want to figure out some Frankenstein GameCube AV adapter to the HDMI capture card solution? I... I have one, but I haven't tried it yet. That is why I'm at. Why bother paying for it when I can just uh, find an online backdoor? Exactly. It, you know. I wrote the lit. I wrote a letter to Quita, and I sent it into the. I sent it into the sky. I asked Quita to please send me someone strong warriors to aid my cause. Could this be the letter by any? Whoa! Could this be the letter by any chance? I picked it up in the ocean. Yes, that that is a letter I wrote to Quita. I sent it looking for help. Quita surely sent you to me. You must be the warriors I was looking for. Please take me with you. I want to fight against Valio. I, I may not be strong, but I can dance. My dancing will lift everyone's spirits. Uh, Marita has joined your crew as a jester. Wait a second. Don't already have a jester. Did I pick up Pal already? I didn't. I gotta go back to, uh... I gotta go back to Pirate Island. To join your crew's muffling clown. Yeah, essentially. I, if they ever remade this, I kind of want little cutscenes of all the people actually joining you, just because I want Marita to just be like, hey man, this place is dead, I'm out. Like, I can, I can even, I can even play the Zelda games on my phone, like, granted it's very choppy, but so. Yeah, I haven't messed around with emulators too much on my phone. I mean, the most the most graphically advanced game I've got on my phone is um uh Sorry, my brain shut off for a second. The most graphically advanced game I've got on my phone is um uh Magic the Gathering. And as hot as my phone gets when I start doing some, some long chains in that, I don't want to try to emulate stuff on it. How many have I done? Where's the All Men's Island? Uh, I feel like there is an All Men's Island somewhere. Uh, I know where virtual, where virtually everything is for this game. So if you want assistance, uh, oh, me too though. <laughs> well, no, there there's several islands with just one single man on them. <laughs> discoveries do I have? Come on. Nope. There we go. One, two. That is not enough to get, uh, to get, uh, to meet, uh, what is his name? I forget. The other discoverer to join your crew. Um, I gotta find Gordo's restaurant. I want that on my map. Domingo. I was, I thought it was Domingo, but I was like, ah, I'm not so confident in that. Is 
Sarah Ronnie's Mutant 3, and one of them has a crap ton of stupid birds on it. Yeah. That special one that was added just for this. Settings with all games. Everyone play with the train at least What is that? What is that? Uh, laughter. I feel like I've heard of that lately. Moons, give me strength. Yeah, Vice, you can do it with your pyrum. I don't know why you have the most fire magic. You are not my mage. See? Delta Shield was just a shield. I actually really like, um, I mean, Delta Shield, obviously, it's super and important. Victory. But I like uh, Aura of Denial and Skull Shield. Yeah, you still take a beating sometimes, but it's just, it feels like it's annoying to the enemy. Because they can't, they can't hit you with a base attack, and if they try to, like, modify you, they can't. There he is. I don't think I've got that one yet. Tricyclone. Post-apocalyptic future game where the humans are doomed because there is no more women. Only one man finds a girl that... Oh, yeah! I have heard about that one a lot. You ever see Cautious Hero? I have not. Hold on, I gotta pull my cheek out for Gordo. Oh, hey, it's you, Vice. Don't you remember me? It's me, Gordo the Black Pirate. I had a single heart and decided to open up this restaurant here in the North Ocean. It's a nice place, don't you think? I've taken flavors from all the four corners of the world and made a new style of cooking. He seems like a One Piece character. Wait, wait a minute. Aren't you, Vice? You're a legend among sailors across the sky. You know me, right? I'm the treasure hunter Domingo. I travel all over the world for new discoveries. It's quite relaxing with a job, if you ask me. Will you join us? If it's okay with you, I would like for you to join my crew. We'll work together to find all discoveries in the world. <laughs> Sorry, but I only join up with people that are beautiful women or men who are better treasure hunters than myself. But if you can find at least 30 discoveries. Yeah, I thought it was 30. I was like, maybe. <laughs> Come on, you. I hate this one. Ch I hate this cham. Because it's, it's around so much stuff that you can accidentally click on. Ah, uh, get away! <laughs> Stop it! There it is. Ah, damn. Sorry, I had to ban that bot. <laughs> I'm sure it's not gonna matter. Uh... Right, just keep going east. Like they said.
I could fight you, but I want to just get back to the island. Because I'm approaching my time. No! <laughs> talking about the anime laughter I've seen a lot of reviews about Lisa it makes me feel like I've played it but I haven't here is overpowered but cautious sorry the chat went by too fast remind me what the, the anime is we're, call, uh, we're talking about I know I haven't seen it I haven't really watched an anime in a while Ah. Uh, ah, never mind. It's just a ring? A oh, Skyrift? That's weird. Nope. 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 Come on. There we go. Cautious here over here is a power cautious. Is that really the name of the anime? That was fun. Shin Evangelion comes through the West via Amazon Prime Friday and Huh. Okay, I'll just go around it. Unless there's probably a, a uh, discovery in there, I'm not so sure. Imagine being a small streamer and having the chat still move by faster than you can read. I don't have to imagine that's what's happening. Just one Omega Cyclone. So I can start getting everybody else. I can uh, start filling out everybody else's. That was easy. Do I even have. I don't know. I need one more Moonberry for that. I don't get much traffic in my chat, to be honest. Uh oh. I mean, I only just recently started getting any traffic in mine. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Honestly, the only reason I have the people I have that have been here the longest is because I'm friends with uh, one of the reviewers who works on the Escapist, and we stream together. I got Jesse's scraps, as it were. Not that you guys aren't important. Of course not. I don't know why I laughed. It makes it sound not genuine. <laughs> hey, we get to see our island for the first time. Yeah, you can call it networking if you want. <laughs> you are not scraps. Not what I mean. What are scraps to a starving dog? <laughs> but delicious food they're happy to have. <laughs> Bye. 
place. Crescent Island is straight ahead. Yep, that's Crescent Island, all right, but it looks a little different. If we reach Crescent Island by flying east from Yafatoma, well, that means... Yay! We sail around the world! You have found the world is round. Until now, no one knew what lay beyond the e the end of the world, and it was commonly thought to be a long, turbulent drop into the nothing into nothingness. But after the blue robed vice returned from his voyage around the world, it became known that the world was round. I want to question why the why the character who's literally from like the moon didn't say anything. <laughs> I want to see more. I don't think I'll be happy until I see the whole world. I know there's more out there. <laughs> to think we just made it home. The vice is already talking about sailing some more. How typical of him. I mean, she didn't want to spoil it, but you know. Well, you're officially my 14th follower, so thank you. Well, thank you. You're officially my 33rd. And it does mean a lot. <laughs> it looks like there are some new buildings that weren't there before. Ismail probably built them while we were gone with all the money we gave him. I wonder what Crescent Island looks like now. Hurry up and land, Vice. Alright, I can't wait to check it out. I, I didn't need to turn. I think there's a lot of advanced degrees from, from Moon Wizard School, so she probably just thought it was common knowledge. Like I said, Fina knows a whole lot about what she knows, but that's a very small amount. Oh god, hold on. <sighs> Welcome home! Well, now that you like what you've done with the... <laughs> How do you like what we've done with the place? I have to say, I'm really impressed with your work. <laughs> what did you expect from the greatest builder that ever lived? If you have the gold coming in, we'll keep adding on. I've been busy too. I made new armor plating for the Delphinus' hull. It's super sturdy. After I add it to your ship, you'll be able to fly through those pesky stone reeds without a hitch. Thank you both for everything you've done. Ugh. Thank you both for everything you've done for us. Oh god, that voice gives me a headache. Hold on. It makes me dizzy. Thank you both for everything you've done for us. I would like to thank you- or ask- I would like you both to join my crew and board the de- Ugh, whatever. <laughs> that reminds me, I got this while we were in Yafutoma. Can you do anything with it? <laughs> well, shimmer me timbers! I've never seen anything like this technology before in my life! With this type of engine, you'll be able to fly higher than the clouds and lower than you've ever imagined. I'll get started on this baby in a jiffy. Vice, we should figure out what to, uh, we should figure out what we're going to do next. I knew someone would say that. That's why I built a meeting room for y'all on the wall of a cliff. I, uh, you can do all your planning from there. You built us a meeting room. Wow, you're great, Ismail. Let's check out. Uh, let's go check it out. Yeah, the book of Hillary, blah, 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 blah. I thought jizzle, uh, I thought jiggle physics. Oh, there she is. Nice to meet you. You're Captain Vice, right? And Captain Claire has ordered me to come around, uh, come aboard the Delphine. Duh. Take two. Captain Claire has ordered me to come aboard the Delphinus and train with you, uh, well, train with your crew so I can become a better gunner. Oh, and my friends Lily and Nara are coming with me. I hope you don't mind. We're a team. We take care of your cannons. We're going to knock out those Valuans. Uh, we're, we'll take care of your cannons. We're going to knock those Valuans out of the sky. Sure, and your name is? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I didn't forget my name. I just forgot to tell you. Oh, I would forget my name. That'd be silly. I'm Belle. I don't think we... Uh, I don't have much experience with cannons, but I'll do my best. Well, you seem enthusiastic enough. We'll give you a chance, and we'll let, uh, see how you do. 
Yes, sir. I'll do my best, sir. As Johnny Cruz is gonna. What the hell are we talking about, chat? <laughs> Who's eating sand? And your taste cut for your bandana. Hey man, there's two things in the game that have jiggle physics. It's Belle's chest and Gordo's stomach. And I honestly don't know which was needed first. She hasn't set that up yet. Is there a moonberry on the island now? I can't remember. I don't think so. Also, I really do like that border. Because it's uh, uh, Gilder and Clara's like pirate flag symbols. Because they definitely helped you get here. You know, tribute and whatnot. Greetings! I have a plethora of items for you and your crew. particularly useful at the moment. This shop is a little dull for my taste. I want a bigger shop, a shop that's more befitting of a merchant with grand as myself. I need 2,000 gold to remodel this place. Thank you, Captain. You've gone good taste. I'll use my looks to try to scap some new items. A few new items. Big titties or small titties? What about what? There's a Konami code for taking off Isis eye patch. Is there really? I did not know that. That old it. <coughs> hold on. That old it. Hmm. Hold on. Drop the knife. There it is. That old Ismail shirt sure, really is something I'm uh, just watching it makes me want to start building things for you. Yeah, how about it? It cost you some gold, but I guarantee it will be a job well done. I can't just sit here while Ismail has all the fun. <gasps> now we're getting somewhere. Which building are you on in your model? Now let's do the living quarters. They want to remodel living quarters. It's going to cost you about 2,000 gold to do it. Are you sure you want to go through it? Yeah, go ahead. Alright, leave it to me. I'll have it all fixed for you by the time you come back to the island. Which just means fly and then land immediately. During battle, press right, right, left, left, up, down, up, down, right, left, in order to remove Ice Sky's the duration of the battle. Really? Huh. Well, this place isn't that bad. It sort of reminds me of my tavern back on Sailor's Island. I think I'll be able to cook here, but the kitchen could use a little work. Huh? It needs some remodeling if it's going to make uh, some more popular dishes. I, I got that. Well, I lost everything that was dear to me. I lost it all in the Dark Rift. All I had was a place to keep, uh, keep going on my memories of Polly. It was during those years in the Dark Rift that I realized just how important Polly was to me. I never realized how much I had until she was gone. I'm not going to stay by her side and I mean, I'm going to stay by her side until we finish this. We're heading back to Sailor's Island. I have heard that the royal family of value is really cool. Sorry, that wasn't her voice. I have heard that the royal I don't remember it. The royal family of value is cool. And the people of value are cold hearted. But Enrique is so nice, Marco is so cool too. I just think I was wrong to judge people just because they come from somewhere else. 
Oh, Vice. Uh, it's a really nice tavern. I wish I could serve you alpha and food to everyone on the island. But I guess it's impossible without renovating the kitchen. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm just missing my kitchen back home. All right, I get the message. Uh, where is his mail? Is he still down in the place? Quieter. I just progress. Why not? I don't have a ton of time left. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> uh, sorry for making your chat degenerate. I'll have to look into it. I'm quite the degenerate on my own, so I'm not too worried about it. Everyone's just passive, passive aggressively dropping hints. <laughs> How about the fact that everybody just wants stuff, but they won't just outright say, hey, I'm not going to cook for you unless this happens. Hmm. It's still hard for me to believe that Ismail turned this deserted island into a base. How did he get supplies? Vice, Aika, Enrique. Thank you for everything you've done so far. We've managed to get three of the three of the moon crystals. I never would have made it this far on my own. Thank you so much. <laughs> Come on, Fina. You don't have to thank us. Uh -huh. Yeah, if it wasn't for you, I don't think we would have ever gotten a chance to sail around the world. We should be thanking you. <laughs> Fina, I don't think I don't know if you realize it yet, but your mission has helped us all, and we ha uh, and we've all grown to be such good friends. <laughs> Yes, thank you. I mean, you're welcome. Until recently, I lived a sheltered life. I was scared to, uh, I was scared when the elders asked me to search for the crystals, and I was alone. Since then, I've made some great friends, and I'm excited to, uh, I'm excited when we, wait, and I get excited when we explore new lands, even the ones with monsters, which has been all of them so far. Yeah, when you first, uh, yeah, when you first heard, well, hold on. Yeah, when you first when we, oh, when you first heard what we did for a living, you seemed really surprised, almost intimidated. You're, you're sounding more like an air pirate every day, but uh, before you know it, you'll be able to. Uh, poof. We'll be dressing up. Uh, hold on, okay. Before you know it, you'll be dressing like us, and people will be wearing an eye patch. That's foreshadowing. <laughs> Hey, that reminds me, do you know where we should go for the next moon crystal? Uh-huh. Yes, I do. To the far south lies a, a land that basks in the cold of the purple moon. It's known as the Land of Ice. The purple moon crystal should be hidden there. Land of Ice? The purple moon is a source of power for all ice magic. And because of that, the lands under the moon have become encased in ice. I've heard stories about that place. Some of the others back home used to tell me uh, about rumors they'd hear. I heard that the air is so cold that anyone who goes there will be frozen solid in a matter of seconds. I don't want to have to chisel you out of the vi uh, out of the ice, Vice. Where do you get these stories? Where do you get these stories? First, I was going to catch on fire. Then people were going to eat us with sticks, and now I'm going to freeze. Getting the crystal is not going to be that easy, but I think your overactive imagination is getting the best of you. What do you mean? All right, fine. When you become a bicycle, don't come crying to me. <laughs> I'm sure everything will be all right. I, I'm sure everything will be all right. I doubt it's that cold, Aika. Well, according to our value in archaeologist. Beneath the layers of ice lies a ruin, uh, lies the ruins of an ancient city. These ruins would have been undisturbed since the old world. Unfortunately, no one's ever been able to get to break through the ice, and all we've been able to do is observe the ruins from the sky. So we really don't need any. We don't need to go there because it's impossible to get the crystal. Hmm. Well, I was thinking since uh, Brabham said. 
Since Bar- uh, Barabrim. Brabrim. Oh, that's it. Brabrim. That's it. Brabrim said that the hull has been reinforced, right? If the hull is strong enough to break through the stone reefs, perhaps it's strong enough to even break through the ice. That might work. We could bust through the ice with the Delphinus. If the Delphinus is strong enough to get through the ice, then we can get the crystal. Yep. That looks like it's our next destination to the south, to the land of ice. Yes. It looks like we got a long journey ahead of us. I think we should take I think we should take a rest of the day off to celebrate. My eye. Uh. I'm going back and reading the chat now, so... Just, well, you're not one of those degens from up country, come on. <laughs> Blonde and busty gets me lusty. That sounds familiar. Uh, she lives a sheltered life back in Moon Wizard School, but lately she's learned how doors work. Uh, she's a velociraptor. <laughs> from what I understand, yes, clever girl. It's amazing how five out of only nine people have been talking in this chat. Yeah, it's it's also upsetting that ten people showed up right when I gotta go. Uh, can I, anything you say I can turn to. Why would we want you to? Because <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh... Alright, so... Yeah, I think that's going to be it for me tonight. There's a couple things I could do, but I'll just save them for next time. It's a good uh, heading off to the uh, Land of Ice, or as it'll become to known, it'll come to be known as the Land of Sadness. Uh, Ferd Burfle understands, I'm sure. Anybody else who's played the game understands. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, so, uh... I'll see everybody back, hopefully, on uh, Monday or next week, and uh, I'll give my brain a chance to uh, catch up with my mouth because I can't think. But uh, I'll see y'all later next time. Have a good one, and yeah, that's it. Bye, everybody.